What's up, guys? I am Doug DeMarco, and let's unbox some stuff, man. All right, we have Dungeon Crate. All righty, and I actually received this box over the weekend, but uh, I failed a constitution save, and I was deathly ill. Well, not like deathly ill, more like moderately ill. I slept like 30 hours, and I was just completely insufferable. Yeah, that about covers it. All right, so let's crack this open and see what we got. Oh, we got a sticker that fell out on top, so I don't know. Check that out. Yin Yang Dragon sticker. We have some quest stickers with some uh, little tiles and things and little sticker parts. Some more quest stickers and the little parts that comes with them. So you could use them on boards and stuff. We have a uh, Dungeon Crate business card with looks like some spell effects. Let me open this up. So we got a web. This is white. Should have been gray. Or black, but like a, like a tinted gray. And some type of maybe growth, plant growth, something like that, maybe. You know, some type of druidy thing. Who's druids? Alrighty. And we have... Is this the right box? Maybe I got some extra stuff. Anyways, we got some blood splatter tokens. And another business card. So, uh... Maybe they threw something else in there. Uh, we got an advertisement for... That dragon show. From Dragons and Things. And if I remember right, over the weekend, uh, Wayne was on this, the founder of El Dungeon Crato. And here is our card with the back. We got a cavern piece. Looks like uh, oh, it's over here. Looks like the, one of the center ones. We'll look at this last. We have our adventure, friends in low places. All right, so let's uh, let's check this out. What do we got? Questions arise when a strange recording surfaces from an eccentric and supposedly dead artificer. Anders von Hornig's old cohorts aren't talking, but his sister, Penel Penelope, Penelope von Hornig, once answers. She hires a crew of capable adventurers to find out what her brother was up to. The heroes soon discover that the dead aren't always gone. Boom, boom, boom. So here's some pictures. All right, and let's see here's some more stuff. That's kind of neat. I'm not going to show you, but that's kind of neat. I really enjoy the sketchbook parts. It's always interesting to see the design process. And here are some of the maps, but also this comes with uh, this is the Pathfinder version and. The five, five, five. I cannot speak the English language today. Good lord. The 5e version. <laughs> All right. And we have some tiles. These are double sided, so they probably all go together in some way. Boom, boom. We got four different tiles, so they definitely go together, make some type of map thing. They're all double-sided. All right. And it looks like we got some more cards, which I'm really digging these cards. Uh, here is the Elixir of Frostwind. And it has the stats for everything on back. And here is the Distant Manipulator. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Just again, stats on back. And we have sounds like we got some dice 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 baby all right yep we got a looks like a mix of dice six of them uh everything but a d4 maybe that one fell out somewhere but uh just a i can't uh, helps dice okay you know what dice look like they look like dice and they make the clicky clack sound all right and okay so we have some miniatures this is the graveyard golem Ooh, i think i've seen 
I'm pretty sure I've seen really good painted versions of this online. If I do, it'll be here. All right, so here's the unpainted version. The bones. <laughs> if I remember right, the, these, like the graveyard, like the iron gates come out as wings. Looks pretty awesome. And we have brain in a jar. <laughs> There's not a lot of adventures with these, though I do have one. Uh, it is a side quest where there is a brain in a jar in an illithids layer and i it's from 2e i don't remember outright but it was a long time ago but it was a fun adventure that's where i remember it from we also got some markers and a pencil all right let's check out our insert see if we got everything because this is a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff all right we have the insert oh let's read the blurb first summer's prime for adventure and that's exactly what we are offering in this month's crate from our amazing adventure written by James Roda Bob or, 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 that guy of Dragons and Things show to our monstrous minis we have fantastic treasures that will liven up your game table all right so the insert which we're reading our DC adventure friends in low places our friends in low places sticker quest pack our graveyard golem the brain in a jar both of those from Reaper Miniatures. We have our DC Crate Card 2-packs. Two 2-pack. Two we have our Enlightenment Spell Effect Markers. Oh, en Enlightenment. You know, I haven't even started drinking yet today. So it's all downhill from here, boys. So our Entanglement Spell Effect Markers. Oh, lords, lords. Uh, web spell effect marker. Both of those are from the Lord of Adventure and War Games. Our bag of dice. Looks like this is the mix of Chesek dices. Dicey. Dices. Dice. And our DC map tile four pack. Alrighty. So we got everything. And some, I believe, a little extra. Let's see. I believe it was the blood splatter tokens, which was the extra. Extra in the box. Oh, and a sticker. Maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, that was this month's Dungeon Crate. All in all, a super packed crate. I, uh, definitely high on the list of Dungeon Crates so far, especially this year. Haven't been bad this year, but this, uh, for whatever reason, this one definitely stands out. Always. You gotta love two minis. Alright, guys, let me know what you thought about this crate. Thanks for watching, and you be awesome.